Hello and welcome back to Evolution Abbey. Go where you feel the most alive. Today, we'll be discussing about numbers written on a runway. We have always observed that there are some numbers written on a runway. So today, I am your host Shantanu, unveiling this mystery for you. So let's get started. The numbers written on a runway is nothing but a runway designation. Or a runway orientation. We can find written 27, 22, sometimes 09, sometimes 10, sometimes 11. There are many combinations which is possible. What is a runway designator? A runway designator consists of a two-digit number. You will always find a two-digit number, whether on this side or on the opposite side of the runway, which is the whole number nearest to the one tenth of the magnetic north when viewed from the direction of approach. Further, we'll be more el elaborating on this concept. So, what do the runway designators indicate? A runway designator indicate the orientation of the runway on the surface of the earth. Meaning, in what manner a runway is placed on the surface of the earth is acknowledged by runway designator. How? The runway orientation, which is the magnetic bearing of the compass heading, the runway orientation, which is the magnetic bearing or the compass heading of the center line of the runway. Meaning, whatever designation or whatever marking of the numbers we find on the runway is nothing but a compass heading, a reading from the compass to which the center line of the runway is aligned. Now we have two more concepts here the two north and the magnetic north. Two north is a fixed point on the globe where the longitudes converge. Magnetic north is the direction that a compass needle points to as it aligns with the earth's magnetic field. In this diagram we could find that a magnet is aligned in the center of the earth. This side is north from where the magnetic lines are coming out and this side is the south where they are converging. This axis is actually 23 and a half degree apart from the true north axis. So this is the magnetic north, this is the true north. We will be using this magnetic north term that's why I have given a definition of it so that you could differentiate between the true north and the magnetic north. Always remember that north is always taken as zero degrees. I have a map of India in front of us to make you understand that all the runways are oriented with the help of this compass on the surface of the earth. So I will try to zoom this and we will land on Indira Gandhi International Airport on runway 0927 this is the compass for your reference north is north is always in this direction east is this side west will be this side and south will be this side zooming in this is the layout of the indira gandhi international airport now i'll try to zoom this part now after zooming we can find two runways one is this marked with the red boundary and other is this also marked with the red boundaries and this arrow shows north put this for your reference now we have a compass here so this is north this is east so we can find that a runway is aligned in east west direction a runway is aligned in east west direction so now i'll further zoom to see what is written at the ends of this runway on the west side we could find it is written 09 and on the east side we could find it is written 27 a runway designator consists of a two digit number which is the whole number nearest to one tenth of the magnetic north when viewed from the direction of approach. We could see in the previous slide that it was written 27, meaning it was 270 degrees. One tenth of the magnetic north will be 27. So it was written 27 in two digits. For example, if the azimuth of the center line is 220 degrees, that is with the respect to the magnetic north, then the runway designator will be 22. This is explained in the image below. An aircraft heading from 220 degrees will land on a runway 22. Hope this is clear. When this rule results in a single digit number, then the designator is preceded by a zero. Example, if the runway center line azimuth is 20 degrees, then the designator will be 02. If the runway is used in both the direction, then each of them receives its own designator. This means that although there is one physical surface used for takeoff and landings, it is treated as two runways. That is what I was selling. And let's build in the next slide in a more clear manner. So here we could see two physical runways 
but actually when operating both the sides we could find four runways the first runway is marked with this red boundary it shows 27 and 09 these are 180 degrees apart the next we could find a 2810 runway meaning it is an 280 degrees one tenth of it will be 28 and this is 100 degrees one tenth will be 10 now i would like you to imagine yourself standing at this place in front of you is north at the back of you is south this side is east and this side is west so north is always zero i have already mentioned in the previous slide going towards the right this is 90 degrees but we find 270 here meaning 270 degrees mentioned here why this is so this is because a aircraft approaching to this runway will be heading 270 degrees so it should land on a runway designated as runway 27 though from this position you may find that this should be runway 09 but not like that this is a heading of 270 degrees so an aircraft should land on a runway 27 in the same way when you go for this side this is a heading of 90 degrees so an aircraft should land on a runway 09 same goes with this runway an aircraft heading 280 degrees should land on a runway 28 and an aircraft heading 100 degrees should land on a runway 10 this may seems to be an opposite concept but actually it is not you should always visualize that an aircraft is heading towards a degree so it should see or land on a runway designated to that degree only hope this point is clear now we're discussing one more concept the impact of wind in determination of the runway orientation note landing and takeoffs best done against the wind direction we could see different kinds of winds mentioned here so let's get into details what effect these winds put when an aircraft is approaching a runway or taking off from a runway the tailwind meaning when an aircraft is landing on a runway a wind which is pushing the aircraft from the tail or from the back side is called the tailwind so what happens it accelerates the aircraft to an extent that is more than required and it becomes very dangerous especially while landing an aircraft since due to the greater speed of aircraft the requirements of runway length to stop the aircraft increases and thus increasing chances of runway excursion meaning if you have a tailwind then you will need a longer runway or more braking action to stop the aircraft in adequate distance the next is the headwind it creates drag during landing and lift during takeoffs thus helps in the process of aircraft maneuvering and thus is the desired direction of the wind to operate so as mentioned during landing it creates drag and during takeoff it creates lift so it is beneficial in both ways while landing and while takeoff also so this is the more preferred wind direction so while landing and takeoff we usually see that we are getting a headwind a good headwind provide us a shorter runway to take off and to stop that's why we are using both direction of the runway sometimes for an example sometimes 27 sometimes 09 in whichever di direction we are getting the best headwind we will go for that the third one is the crosswind it is the wind that flows in the direction perpendicular to the runway center line and thus pushes the aircraft away from the desired flight path or away from the runway center line meaning it will deviate the aircraft from the runway center line and it becomes difficult to align the aircraft along the center line of the runway while landing and takeoff especially while landing thus we can infer that while orienting a runway we would choose a direction where there is a maximum probability of aircraft to face headwinds so this was all today's lecture hope you have enjoyed it and hope you had you could find it now easy uh, to designate a runway do like share and subscribe our work because your support is our motivation thank you